Emily Rudolph here with another episode of Buys News. I am excited to bring you the newest technology to keep an eye out for this week. As you've heard me mention before, I often talk about the Internet of Things or IoT. Now I have to tell you about something called a smart mirror. Ladies, this will change your life forever. Panasonic has come out with a mirror that registers your face as you look within it. Now, once it takes a peek at your face, it will analyze you for any blemishes you may have and allow you to try on different looks, such as makeup. Panasonic also gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replicate those looks that you've tried on and simulated through the smart mirror. So you never have to worry about going out and looking like a clown, for instance. Okay, <laughs> that is not gonna happen to you with this mirror. This mirror will actually give you step-by-step -step instructions, letting you know exactly how to replicate the look that it has tried on and reflected back to you on your image. Now guys, I know you're like, okay, whatever, big deal, yay, I'm happy for you ladies. It's not only for the ladies, it's for you as well. Let's say you're getting ready to go out, or you wanna change your look slightly, but you're a little bit afraid of, I don't know, shaving off that goatee or that beard and turning it into a goatee. Or maybe you want to try a mustache as a throwback to nostalgia, but you're afraid that you simply cannot pull off the look. This smart mirror will simulate facial hair as well. So you guys can try different looks without worrying about shaving and then waiting weeks for the hair to grow back in. And it will let you know if you need to minimize pores or perhaps have some skin regimen as well as suggesting products to work for you. Now, if that wasn't enough, they've also introduced a 3D printer option. Now, I know we think about 3D printers, we think about, uh, you know, plastics and making molds and models, but this 3D printer will actually print your makeup for you. We are talking about a very thin layer with full coverage that you simply place on top of your face, and when you are finished, you can wash it off just like regular makeup. As if it couldn't get any better than that. Let's talk about job interviews. That is a nerve-wracking experience for everybody, unless you're like a superhero, and you have no clue what they're gonna ask you. You're biting your nails before the interview. I don't really bite my nails, but I'm sure if you're nervous and that's your habit, then that's what you're doing. Or maybe you get all sweaty when you're getting ready to show up for the interview, or perhaps you're running late. Be prepared to back up your resume. Lloyd's Bank is actually planning to launch a virtual reality interview process. For employers, it is difficult to simulate environments that your potential hirees may run into. So, Lloyd's Bank has decided that they will put their interviewees into an environment that will simulate various troubleshooting. In that world, they will simulate troubleshooting situation. That is a tongue twister. In this world, they will. In this world, they will simulate troubleshooting situations. I dare you to say that five times fast. I could not say it once. That was like the third time I recorded that sentence. But moving on, they are going to simulate troubleshooting situations. And in those situations, their interviewees will be tasked with interacting with potential clients. And they will be gauged on how they perform in those stressful situations. This process was previously impossible to replicate without on-the-job experience. It will include sensors on the interviewee within this virtual reality world, so it will track their emotion and allow them to interact with various objects in their environment. Ooh, you better double check those resumes. This is taking it to a whole new level. Halloween is one of my absolute favorite holidays, and I have to give a big shout out to a couple brothers that are in Edmonton, Canada. They have come up with a new way of creating haunted house environments that will absolutely terrify you. They put you in a padded room, and I don't mean a padded room in a like scary, this is an insane asylum scenario. I mean they put you in a padded room for your safety. Participants are immersed in a virtual reality 3D house of horrors simply by putting on these goggles. These two brothers run software simulating different situations and scenarios and get their thrills scaring the bejeebus out of you. Something may jump out at you. You actually can interact with your environment by reaching out um, to certain objects. This world allows the use of previously deemed unsafe special effects. Imagine knives throwing at you. Obviously, you don't want that to happen in a real horror house, right? That would be pretty dangerous. Terror is turning high tech with an emergence of virtual reality haunted houses. 
Well, everybody, that is it for this episode of Vice News. I will be here next week bringing you the newest innovations in technology. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment. Perhaps subscribe to the channel so you receive notifications when new videos are released. In the meantime, why don't you check us out on Twitter or our website. And I hope you have a fabulous week until I see you next time.